what what is up guys in today's video oh my gosh i'm sorry guys i'm just so hype right now i woke up it's early in the morning no school finally get a break from the pssc's because nobody feels like doing all that finally get a break now let's go because my spells are done and everything so time to try out my first ever heal spell let's get it Okay, I'm definitely not attacking this. This guy is too good of a level to only have that many resources. Uh, nah, don't like the way that looks. Okay. Nah, not this one. Not this one either. But I don't know, depending on how heal spells actually are, I might do two of them and see how they really work. But this one, I like how this looks. Um, I think he has some spring traps over there. You don't just leave your... Eh, maybe not. This looks like a farming base, which it is. Or, unless, or he just likes his down a lot. Oh, and his wizard tower is under maintenance. So this will be a good one. Okay, while well, my mortar, let that mortar take its first shot. And the mortar's not even in range. How great is that? That's gonna. Now the mortar's in range. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, wall breaker. Get away from the giants. Another wall breaker. And I have two spells now, so what the heck? Why not? Then I'm just gonna spam the rest of my giants. Get those hill spells over with. Then put some goblins down to take out the gold mines and stuff. I was gonna use the hill spell when my giants got all together, but they split up! Let's go. Right there. Then they're going to attack the wizard tower. Great healing spell, but I know it only at lasts for, what, like six seconds because it's on level one. But that looks like it lasted way more than six seconds. No. No, we might not pull this raid together. But overall, we still did get pretty much all of this. No. Just going to get some archers to shoot down that elixir storage. No. No, don't go after the gold mine. You know what? F F it. No, you stupid archers. Hurry up, goblins. Take out that wall. Oh, man. If I would have known the archers were going to take that, take out the elixir storage, I wouldn't have spawned those goblins. But even though I didn't use them the best way possible, uh, healing spells, definitely good tool. Definitely a good tool. I will be using them more often. Then I, I think I'll upgrade my spell factory again. Maybe to get that. What is, what is it next? A jump spell or a rage spell? Something like that. Oh, man. I was wondering where this guy's spring trap was. If you guys look, he has zero gold right now. And they're still attacking their storage. So that means his gold storage had none in it. He must not have been active because what this means right here is that all his stuff was in his um was in his mind. Now that's uh about one hundred thousand resources right there. Just about one thousand one hundred thousand resources, not a lot. Uh that was pretty much it guys. I'll be posting both of my videos. Well, you'll probably be seeing this right after my first video is posted. And now, time to spawn some troops. And don't forget to create the two spells. 
But now this is going to make my army composition a lot different because if I'm going to be using hero spells, I'm not going to be using giants that much because it's not really going to work like that. Okay, so... I might get that app. I don't know if any of you guys have ever heard of it, but I believe it's called Clash Calculator or something. It has something to do with your army composition. It, um... I believe it's, it likes, you put the amount of troops you can hold, and you just put your army composition that you would use in there, and it, and I think it does all that for you. But I'm not too sure, I have to check it out again. <sighs> well, I only need one more wall breaker. I would gem it, but okay, now, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I'm getting more than I have. Okay, let's do the math right here. 15 plus 15, or as you would say, 15 times 2. 2 times 5 would be uh, 10. And 0, put the 1 up there. 2 times 1 is 2. And then plus the 1 that was already up there is 3. So that'd be 35 right there. So I'd be spending 35,000. And I got 60,000, plus this whole army composition right here is about 5k. So I'd be spending 40,000. So I can't go in after any more attacks that only have about 20,000 resources. Now I have to start going big or go home or go back to home base. <laughs> but you know what I mean. And so that's the way it looks. I'll either have to go big or go home. I have to at least get over 40,000 resources. So that means I'll have to start getting up in trophies because I won't find myself 40,000 trophies by looking at by um what was I about to say then? I don't even remember, but oh uh, yeah, I won't be getting try I won't be cuz some people they don't they don't actually do the math. They just attack whatever they see. Thinking, oh, this base has about 20,000 resources, and it's a base that I can easily destroy. Let's let's attack this. No, you can't do that because if you're like me, um, and you have two, uh, light, you have two spells or more, and then you also have this, and then you have an uh a short army composition. You want to do the math first, like I like I just did. 15 times 2 and all that you need to do you need to do your math so that you know you're not getting about 20,000 when you really need like 40,000 like I did. But that is it guys, just a couple tips on that was just a couple tips out there and I would upgrade my barracks right now but I'm not going to do that cuz I'm uh building barracks right now. But when I but when I, in the afternoon when I end up leaving I'll probably just upgrade it because this is only, oh no, not that one. This one is only going to take four hours. That'll be probably by the time I get back, I'll do another YouTube video. And that'll be three today. Then I'll probably be done for today. And I'll do another three tomorrow in the morning when I wake up. Because I like doing videos in the morning when I wake up. Or uh, one, when I wake up. And like I've done, before, like I'm doing today. Two as I get hyper in the morning because everyone well I can't say everyone some people are downers but for some reason once I wake up I take a little more I take another power nap and I'm right back up on my feet and I'm super hype like if you go to my what was it I think let's play four or no five and then go to this one You'll see, like, oh my gosh, why is he so hype? Why is he so loud? He's screaming into his phone when his phone is right on his, is right in front of him. He is hype. But yes, I am. And I'm going to move this building up because I just realized that that's not going to do anything. Now, I just don't know where to put it. I put, what the heck? Come on, go. Because I have one in both corners. But this one, this that's not gonna get keep them from one hundred percent. So I think I'm just gonna put one right here. 
like right in the middle maybe if you know what I mean. But the reason uh, some people don't put builder shots because I know a lot of people have been asking me, just like my friends and stuff. Why? How come people don't put their builder huts in? How come people don't put their builder huts in the um outside anymore? They said I find so many bases with their uh, builder hut inside. Well, some people think of it as say you have like forty eight percent and you have say. One minute left, and you already spawned most of your troops, and you still have a couple more. You only you you don't have any more giants; they all died. So you have some more bar. You have some a little bit more barbarians. Say you have like five, and you don't want to risk the you don't want to risk uh them running into that wizard tower or something. And then you then you spot his builder huts in the corners. Now think about this: if you have forty eight percent and you have five barbarians left. And you spawn those barbarians on, sorry about that, but if you spawn your barbarians, barbarians, gosh, I can't talk, but if you spawn your barbarians on um, that builder site, you will end up getting 50%. So some people think of it like that. They say, I don't, they don't want to put their builder up because if people only have like 48% with only like three troops left, they would just spawn it on his on their hut in the corner. So if you think about it, you can either be stopping people from getting 100% on your base, or you can be giving people 50% on your base. So it's kind of like a win and a lose, depending on who attacks you and how they do it. But that is it for today's videos. That was three today. Like I said, I'll make another. That was actually two today. No, this is my third one, actually, because I made one this morning. And now I'm now I made another one and this is my last one. I'll make one later tonight if I have time and if I'm not tired cuz like I've said before, I'm going to be pretty busy today and when I come back, I'm probably won't be feeling like doing any videos. But you never know, I might just feel like it. Um But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um Please like and subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Peace.